Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. What I, what I have for you guys today is gonna to be an unboxing of the mini and the premium mystery boxes from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Unfortunately, I did miss out on the deluxe box and that's why I figured I would buy the mini and the premium. But if you guys are wondering what's in the deluxe box, I invite you guys to go over and check out my friend Makeup with Mariella. She did get the deluxe box and she is also doing an unboxing here on her YouTube channel so I'll put a card up here and I will go ahead and link her video down below she's awesome she does great great videos so be sure to go ahead and check her out let her know that I sent you and let's just go ahead and unbox these so this is the mini box okay guys so this is what the mini box looks like the first thing we have here is the color Medusa this is a liquid lipstick this looks like a purple I don't know. I'll have to open it and show it to you guys. I don't have this shade, so that's okay. And then the other color that I got is Scandal. And I want to say I have this shade just because of the packaging. I want to say this is the Winter Collection packaging last year. And I probably have this shade, so I will go ahead and let you guys know. And then the last and third thing is a pop socket. This is a lime green pop socket. Can you guys see it? It's still in the plastic, but... Anyways, those are the three items that I got. Two liquid lipsticks and the pop socket. Oh, wow. Okay, well, this is what the packaging of Medusa looks like. I don't have anything with this packaging, so I'm sure it's really pretty. I don't want to be upset about the color if it's wearable or not because I will put it on my eyes. Oh, yeah, it's like a gray. What the? Wow, yeah, this is a... I don't know what I would do with this shade. I would actually maybe wear it as a lipstick, but this is what the color looks like. I don't know, is this a gray? Is this blue? Is this charcoal color? I don't know. Okay. And the other color is called Scandal. And I'm, if it's the one that I have, I'm not gonna swatch it. I'll just grab mine and swatch it for you guys. Yeah, it is. This is what the this is what the packaging looks like. I'll probably just put this towards a giveaway. So let me just swatch Scandal for you real quick so you see what it's like. It's kind of wearable. It's like a pinky shade. I forgot. I was thinking it was a purple shade, but it's like a lilac-y pink type of shade. So those are the two shades that I got. I'll probably, like I said, put Scandal towards my next giveaway. And I don't know if I'll keep the other one. Honestly, I'll probably just keep it because of the packaging. <laughs> so that's it. Well, guys, that was everything that came in this box. It was just the three items. And open up the second box. This is the premium size one. I bought this box because I wanted the question mark shade, the shade that he said he would never make again and he said it would be wearable so we will see so that's what the inside looks like and more liquid lipsticks okay okay it's probably stuff that i already have great wonderful so the first thing that we have in here is a liquid frost in the color crown jewel it looks like it's a super goldy one hope it's not green looking but that's the first thing crown jewel another pop socket because I don't know I guess I need another one so trust me I'll be using these why because I already bought it the next oh this is the question mark shade I thought it was going to be a shade that I already had because of the lime green packaging but this is the question mark shade it does look very wearable <laughs> the other shade that I got is doll parts and the other thing that we got is a lip ammunition and I have none of these I have none of these and this is in the color ice cream boulevard i don't know if it's going to be like a hot pink but and the pop socket did i show you that yeah let's go ahead and open up the lip ammunition and see what that looks like the packaging is super cute it's like a little bullet super super cute this is in the color ice cream boulevard oh my god it's like a super it makes me think of if you have been on youtube for a while max candy yum yum remember that like barbie lipstick and yeah mine has a bunch of spots on it it's probably from the heat 
I don't think you can see the spots. It just looks a little sweaty. And I wouldn't be surprised. I live in like 100 degree weather. But when they arrived in the box, I got a notification that they had been delivered. So I did go ahead and grab them from my mailbox right away. Honestly, this is not a color that I would wear. I just don't, I don't see myself wearing a light pink lipstick at all, ever. I just don't think it suits my skin tone. Um, doll parts, I wanna say I have this. Let me swatch it for you guys though. Yeah, I think I have this. It's called Doll Parts. It's a pretty like pinky mauve type of shade. It's definitely wearable. I'm gonna go ahead and put this again for a giveaway, but let me show you what Doll Parts looks like. This is the mini one that I have. So I'll show you what Doll Parts looks like. It, it is pretty, it's a pretty color. I'm not gonna say I wear it all the time because I don't, but that is, it's like a mauve pink, it's pretty. That's a Doll Parts. I'm not gonna swatch the lip ammunition just because honestly it's not a shade that I'm gonna wear and I rather, put it towards a giveaway and not even have it be swatched. Just like doll parts because I already have that. And now let's go ahead and open up the mystery shade, the question mark shade and see what that looks like. This almost looks like it's just gonna be lighter than doll parts. I do like the lime green packaging, even though I did buy the Jawbreaker collection, I do have all of them. Oh my God, it's way lighter. I don't know if this is gonna suit my skin tone. Sometimes I feel like I look darker with lighter pink lipsticks, but that is the mystery shade. The one right here. That is the question mark shade. It is lighter than dull parts. I almost see dull parts more wearable. I, I just don't see myself wearing it. Okay, I'm gonna put it on just so you guys can see what it looks like. Huh, it looks a little more coral coral pink okay guys well that is what question mark looks like it has dried down it has dried down i don't know if i like it on me like besides the fact that i have like super colorful eyes right now i'm looking in my view in my laptop that i use as a viewfinder and it looks like a light pink, but in person it looks more corally pink, if that makes sense. I know my eyes are very distracting right now, maybe because of the shade. I feel like it looks better on camera than it does in person, at least to me on my skin tone <laughs> with everything I have going on with my eyes right now. It's not an ugly color. It's not an ugly color. I don't hate it, but I do not think it's I don't think it's very flattering for my skin tone and that's just personal. Comment down below and let me know what you think of this color. And it does definitely accentuate most of the lines on my lips. I don't know if that's because, if that's the shade, but I feel like most liquid lipsticks do look like that the lighter they are. So I don't hate it, but I'm not gonna say I'm obsessed with this new color. No, I'm not. And for anyone out there that's wanting to get these boxes, would I recommend it? Sure, if you own nothing Jeffree Star. If you own a lot, like, I'm not saying I own everything, but I have quite a few lipstick bundles, like four collections of lipsticks, and I have two of his, three, four of his palettes, and two lip glosses. So I would say, <laughs> If you are someone like me, you don't really need this, you know, and even with like the liquid frost, I had a friend give, give me one, but it was still too dark for me and I gave it away and it's honestly product that you're probably never going to finish. So I might keep this. I'll just, I don't know. I'll see, but whatever I, whatever I showed you that I already have will definitely be going to my next giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video, this unboxing. Let me know your thoughts down below. I honestly don't think I would buy this again unless he made a deluxe box and specified that there would be at least like a palette in there. You know what I'm saying? But Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing here with me. Comment down below your thoughts. Let me know. And I will see you in my next video, guys.